What up? Damon here from stockbarometer.com. Today we're going to be talking about day trading stock. So you want to be a day trader, huh? Well, it's going to be a little harder than other types of trading. First of all, what you got to know is that there are two types of analyses that work in normal trading. By normal trading, I mean position trading, swing trading, and long-term investing. Now for day trading, I imagine your goal is to be able to just trade during the day as a full-time job, and then you don't have to worry about making money in other ways. You can do that. That's what day trading is all about. But day trading is not simply swing trading sped up. Day trading is different in two main areas. The first one is your analysis method. You cannot use fundamental analysis in day trading. The main reason is those fundamentals don't change. They don't change within the day. You might get a piece of news on a stock or a company during the day, but you're not gonna find that the accountant has updated the financial ratios for that company during the day, making the stock more valuable or less valuable. So fundamental analysis is out of the question. You're either going to stick with your technical analysis, which by the way, is going to be a bit different for day trading because all of the statistical backings we have for these you know, candlestick patterns and gap trading, they're mostly based on daily candlestick patterns, daily trends. They're not based on hourly or per minute trends. So what you know from long-term investing or from swing trading isn't always applicable to day trading. That's the biggest change. However, there is an advantage in day trading, and that advantage is you get a new form of analysis that wouldn't be effective in swing trading, position trading, or other longer terms trading, longer ter longer trading terms. What we have in day trading is a method called tape reading. Now, tape reading is a combination of a lot of different indicators that basically tell you what's going on with that stock during the day. One of the indicators is the bid price, another is the ask price, another is what orders are being filled and when. Are you getting five orders filled per minute? Where are they being filled? Are they being filled at the ask? Are they being filled at the bid? Are they being filled in between? What are the size of those orders? Who are the people making those orders? Are they the market makers? Are they buying like thousands of shares of stock a minute? Or are they individual investors just putting in a bit of money and hoping, like you are, to make money during the day? Those are questions you need to answer through the theory of tape rating. So that's an entirely new field of analysis that you can either rely on or you can add to technical analysis. But either way, you can't bring what you know from your other types of trading to day trading and have it be effective, at least not statistically. So that's the biggest difference. Now, if you're day trading stock, you also need to know that what you're really relying on to make money is volatility, intraday, intraday volatility. Intraday volatility is highest in stocks that have large volumes. So you're pretty much gonna ignore all those you know, basic stocks and you're going to be looking at big stocks like Google and Apple. Those are the ones you'll be focusing on. Now, one problem with that is if you're looking at high volume stocks, you're typically dealing with stocks that are really expensive. For example, if you're going with Amazon, you're going to be spending over $100 per share. Now, of course, that can make you some money. If you just buy one share, it goes up a, you know, 10 bucks during the day, you sell it, you've made 10 bucks. But think about this. You've made 10 bucks with two trades, each of which required commission. That's the problem with day trading. The main problem with day trading stock is that you're gonna be paying multiple commissions within a day, and then you got you know interest and tax, all that stuff that's gonna add up. If you meet someone who says he's a successful day trader, it means that he's trading with large amounts of money, not small amounts of money. I'm making this video because I've tried day trading before, and yes, at the very basic level, I was profitable. But if you think of it like this, if I'm making four trades a day, opening and closing each trade, I'm paying commission eight times, and that's like an $80 loss right there. So I have to make sure that my profit is above $80. But for me, 
I don't get that much more than eighty dollars with the amount I'm investing. If I'm putting in, you know, a thousand dollars a day, then I'm usually you're not going to make double for a certain trade. You're going to make maybe ten percent if you're lucky. So I've got to be really good to break that eighty dollar break-even price. And for me, it just doesn't make sense because I don't invest huge amounts of money on a single trade. I put smaller amounts of money into stock options and leverage that over a more diversified, uh, you could say, portfolio. I'm a swing trader, so it's not really a portfolio. But for day trading, it is possible to make quite a bit of money. You just need to have quite a bit of money to begin with. Otherwise, what you're gonna end up with is more commissions than you would like, and that would eat into probably your capital. If you want that to be your education while you somehow get up there, you can do that. But I recommend you focus on at least some other form of trading to make your wealth first. And then if you want to be a full-time trader, go for it. Because one of the great things about being a full-time day trader is that, sorry, I'm drinking a beer. This is a bar beer by Kirin, product placement. Back to the point. One of the great things about being a day trader is that most of the volatility during the day happens within the first two hours of the market opening, which means you don't need to be like a full-time employee working eight hours a day. Instead, what's happening is you're working two hours a day, but you're making the same as you know any other day trader. Because most people who trade all day long see diminishing profits. They're going to see a lot of profits in the first two hours if they're profitable, if they have a system, and then that profit level is going to drop as volatility evens off, and we see where the stock is going to end up or where the candlestick is going to be, right? So what you need to do if you want to be a day trader of stock is you need to research a new analysis method, whether it be tape reading or you know technical analysis applied to minutes or hours instead of days. And second, you need to have enough money to be able to put into individual trades so that those small changes within the volatility will actually benefit you, okay? So I don't recommend, personally, a beginner or at least someone who doesn't have a lot of money or a decent job where they can bring in a lot of renewable income work on day trading. I recommend you focus on something like swing trading if you really want aggressive growth, but day trading is a viable option once you get up there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will talk to you tomorrow. Peace.